This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at a dilation problem. And in order to do dilations, you have to be given some shape. And in this case, it's a polygon. And this polygon is a triangle. It has three points and three sides. So we're going to deal with that. I'm also going to give us uh, start off with a center of dilation. So if we're going to dilate, we do have to have that. So for this example, I'm going to start off by saying that this is our center of dilation. So I'm going to call this point D for the center of dilation. Okay, in order for us to do the dilation, um, you have to also be given not only a center, but a dilation factor. And usually that dilation factor uh, is given with the value K. Okay, in this case, what I like to do is start off and say, let's say it's a half. Okay, so if we have a dilation factor of a half, and this is our center of dilation, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this problem. All right, well, first thing we have to do is measure some distances. So uh, A is a point here, and it's two units away from our uh, center of dilation. So what we want to do is take half that distance. So half of two is one. So I'm going to go one unit in the same direction of A, except I'm only going to go one unit. I gotta do that with a color. Let's do that in blue. Okay, um, let's now find the distance to B. Now B is a little bit harder to do because it's kind of a diagonal distance, but we're gonna take it in terms of vertical and horizontal. So it looks like it's got a distance of one, two, three, four, five, six spaces going up, or down in this case, and two spaces over. So we're gonna take half of those distances. So half of six is three. So one, two, three. So I'm going three units down, and instead of going two units to the, like, right, six units down and two units, I'm gonna go half those distances. So three units down, one unit over. So what I'm doing is going half the distance to B, because that's the scale factor, half. So you can see I'm going half of the unit to B. So there you go, there's that distance right there. All right, now to get to C, I've gotta go six units down and one, two, three, four units over. So instead of going six down, I'm only going to go three down. Instead of going four over, I'm only going to go two over. One, two. So there you have it. So this is our new point for A. So we call this point A prime. This is our new point for B. We call it B prime. So those are, we call it the image points. And this is, of course, C prime. So if I connect these, and of course I'm doing this by hand, I'm going to get a triangle. So uh, I draw this, and you'll notice that I have a new triangle. And if you also notice, all the distances or lengths of the sides of those triangles are half as large as the original. Okay, so it looks like when my k value is a half, it shrank. The triangle shrank. Okay, we're going to try another example. All right, for our second example, uh, I am going to start by putting down a different center of dilation. All right, let's say if this is our center of dilation, which I'm marking with the letter D. So if this is our center of dilation, I'm also going to have a different scale factor. Our first problem was a half. Let's see what happens with one and a half. Okay, so let's say we have a different scale factor. So again, what we have to do is measure distances, and we have to measure distances between these points. So let's say I want to know the distance from D to A. Well, to go from D to A, I've got to go two units left, and I've got to go four units up. I'm going to multiply those distances by 1.5. So two units to the left times 1.5 is three. It's a distance of three. Okay, and I, I, could, I guess I could show that real quickly over here. So I'm, I'm multiplying 2 times 1.5. And I'm taking, we said it was 4 units up, so 4 times 1.5 is 6. Okay, so instead of going 2 to the left, I'm going to go 3 to the left. Instead of going 4 up, I'm going to go 6 up. So that's 3 to the left. 6 up. 
there's our new A prime. Okay, let's do the same thing with B. So to go from D to B, I've got to go two units down, two units left. So if I multiply two times 1.5, it turns out to be three. So I'm going to go three units down and three units left. There's our new B prime. Okay, do the same thing with C. I've got to go two units down, that's times 1.5 is 3. And I've got to go 4 units to the right. 4 times 1.5 is 6. So, okay, so instead of going 2 down, I'm going to go 3 down. Instead of going 4 to the right, I'm going to go 6 to the right. And there's our new C prime. Okay, so let's connect these points. So if I connect these points, of course I'm doing this freehand. It's going to be a little choppy. Okay, let's connect those. There we go. Okay, so it looks like with our K value of 1.5, our black original triangle is now larger. It's got a larger value. Okay, and that's what happens when you deal with these dilations. Dilations create similar figures, and all the corresponding angles will be the same. So like you'll notice here, if you look carefully, that this angle here in the black triangle is equal to this angle here in the blue triangle. I'm not proving it, I'm just showing it to you. And again, this angle here in the blue triangle is equal to that one. So we're preserving all the angles when we're dealing with these dilations. So this is a right angle in the blue drawing and this is a right angle in the black triangle. So the angles stay the same. It's the only thing that, that changes are the distances in the triangles. Those distances do change. And another fact that's interesting to know is that if you have a K value, I'll put it over here, if the K value is larger than one, then the dilation causes growth or expansion. It, it grows in size. Okay, so if the K value instead, if it's less than 1 but greater than 0, then what happens is it shrinks. Okay, so it's nice to know when you know those little facts. Okay, so if our value is larger than 1, I knew that my answer was going to cause an enlarged uh, uh, image. Okay, there you have it. So that's dilations, and I gave you two examples. So make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our, all our videos, our interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons. Take care.